Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Friday morning video. Before I get this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Much appreciated, I'm really trying to get to 700 subs by the end of this month, so we're on a good pace. So thank you all who have subscribed. Today we're gonna to talk about Corsair Gaming, ticker CRSR. I've been talking about this stock a lot recently, but I really just wanted to, you know, basically say what my mind is and where my mind really is going when I'm buying this. So I've been buying it pretty heavy the past three weeks. I've actually gone over where I wanted this portfolio size in this particular uh, stock. I usually like 10%. I'm at close to 15% as portfolio weight. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm a long-term investor and I hold 17 stocks. So this is one of them. Yesterday, the stock had a 3% bounce back. The cost base as of close yesterday was $26.13. That's a great price. I even like this stock at $35, to be honest. When I ran my evaluations when I originally bought this stock, I thought that was a good number to two or three X your position in the next two, three years, depending on how Corsair executes. So buying it at this is a steal. My cost base is 29 XX. I don't know the exact amount, but I know it just hit $29. So you're getting a great deal. You know, it's, it, it's cheaper than where I got it. Market oversell. So really this is what happens when the market oversells or overbuys, it corrects kind of. If there's like a lot of panic or fear in the market or a lot of bullishness in the market, you'll, you have it both ways. In this case, it was a lot of fear with what's going on with China, with what's going on inflation, with what's going on with unemployment, with what's going on in Congress. There's just, there was so much uncertainty and fear in COVID. There was so much uncertainty and fear of, uh, you know, what's going on right now. So, you know, small caps like Corsair, a lot of people sell those holdings first. So. I think there was just an oversell in this stock and it kind of, uh, you know, people realized it and it bounced back. So that's kind of what happened. I was buying the whole time it was dipping down the past week, but I do think there was an oversell in a lot of stocks, especially small caps. If you look at Yardini research, small caps right now, the four PE is really low. It's, it's at actually fair value or below fair value. So that's where the deals really are in the market right now. My plan with Corsair, obviously, you know, I will buy if it goes down to, you know, lower lows of where I just bought. So if it went to like $25.25 again or less, I would probably average cost down again. If it hovers around the 26 to, you know, $29, I'm fine with leaving my position where it's at. But, you know, it's got to be a really good deal for me to average cost down at this point, just because I have so much weight in this position. So that's kind of my, yeah, that's my plan with it. A lot of things going on right now, job reports, that comes out tomorrow. So hopefully the numbers come in, you know, right on par, that would be nice so it doesn't cause any fear or whatnot. If they come in super, super, super low, we might not taper, which I think we're gonna, or that's what's gonna happen tomorrow, which I think most people in the market, if you follow it, you should be aware that's gonna happen. So you're gonna have some laggers, some people don't understand what's going on, they'll probably, if we do say we're gonna taper, it's probably gonna drop the market a little bit, but that's weird. I mean, you should know that's happening. Everyone that's in the market that actually seriously takes it, that actually takes it serious knows that's coming. So no surprise to me. If numbers come in real light, maybe we'll extend it another month. But I think we will taper and I think jobs will come in semi-close to where they're predicting. Inflation, hopefully, you know, these numbers come out next week. Hopefully they come in below 5%. If they go up, that's not good. I mean, I really think the market is, tr is uh, inflation's transitory. I really do believe that. It might be a little pushed back from where I think it's gonna be just because we have supply bottlenecks and um, you know, just, just, just things are happening, recovering a little slower. Obviously with that being said, with all the cash, you know, just everywhere from all the money printing, you know, that's gonna drive up inflation. But I do think long story short, it is transitory. I think we will get back to our mid to low 2% inflation year over year by 2024 at very latest. That's being conservative. So I do think it's transitory. Uh, my prediction for October, just the remaining part of October, the last three weeks, I think the market's going to have a pretty decent run. I think when jobs and inflation and, you know, and when, you know, Congress gets more of black and white what the bills are, I really feel like the market, especially at the back half of October, I think we're going to go on a little run. Uh, I don't know if it's going to correct back depending on how Congress and all that goes, but I, I have a really weird feeling the market's going to be very bullish uh, the back end of October into November and maybe even December. So 
the November and December, uh, you know, late November and December, I'm gonna say that all depends on, you know, COVID and the virus and all that stuff. But as of right now, it's going down if you look at the seven day moving average. So that's something I'm not really too concerned about, uh, you know, right now, as far as it being bullish, that's why I wanted to plow some money in the market. Obviously, as it keeps dipping, 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 and now, you know, that it's going up, I'm totally fine with the positions I have. I will gladly continue to stack more cash. About a month ago, I had 30% cash, maybe a little more. Now I'm down to like 18% cash. So it was nice that I wasn't buying today. I really wanted to take a break because I like having like a 15% reserve on like a straight up like correction, like an S&P like three to 5% dip. I want to have cash to take advantage of that. So that's where I'm at with Corsair. That's where I think the market's going in October. Jobs numbers are obviously tomorrow. It'll be pretty exciting to see. And uh, till tomorrow, that's all I got. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700 subs by the end of this month. And that's it. Peace.